Hey everybody, I'm Chad, and today I'll be demonstrating my $27 do-it-yourself record album vacuum cleaning machine. Now I call this a $27 project because I spent $27 buying the two things I needed to make this machine. I also used some things that I had lying around the house which, if I had had to go out and buy them, would have increased the total cost. The first thing I needed was a wet dry vac. This Stanley 1.5 horsepower 1 gallon wet dry vac has a suggested retail cost of $30, but I picked it up at my local big box retailer for just $20. Notice this attachment that I've circled in red. I modified this crevice tool to be my record cleaning attachment, which I'll show you in detail in just a moment. The other thing I had to buy was some black velvet to protect the record grooves from the hard surfaces of the record cleaning attachment. I went to my local fabric store and they had a few different options. I bought a half a yard of an acetate and nylon velvet that they had on sale for $14 a yard. So $20 for the wet dry vac and $7 for the velvet makes $27 for my do-it-yourself record album vacuum cleaning machine. Here's the tool that I made from the crevice attachment that came with the wet dry vac. I cut a long narrow opening along here and mounted velvet around the opening using heavy duty mounting tape. I also drilled a hole in the front that goes over the record player spindle. When the front hole covers the spindle, the long narrow opening crosses the part of the record that needs to be cleaned and vacuums up the water as the record passes by. You can see there is a washer at the front and the back. These serve to make the tool run roughly parallel to the surface of the record as it is being vacuumed. I also covered the original opening on the front of the attachment with duct tape in order to direct the suction to the new opening. Here's another image of the attachment. And another. And here's a close-up of the long, narrow opening. I start out by pouring a little water on the record. Then I spread the water over the surface. This is a velvet brush I bought a while back that can be used either wet or dry. I usually scrub the record in both directions before spreading the water once more. Then I place the front hole over the record player spindle, lower the attachment to the edge of the record, and turn the record by hand until all of the water has been vacuumed up. Where there was a dusty surface before the cleaning, the record now looks perfectly clean. Thank you for watching my video, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments section below.